Hey, it's Chad Eastie, host of the Chad Eastie Show. Welcome to the Morning Brief. A lot to get into this week as we get closer and closer to the 2016 election. And the news media doing their very best to find outrage with Donald Trump. Uh, over the weekend, of course, we uh, all heard, while uh, many of us were probably watching college football, uh, about the uh, bombing in New York City, the explosion, uh, where 29 people were injured. Thankfully, no one was killed in that blast. Uh, it looks as though police are at least looking uh, at uh, at least the latest information that I have. Uh, is that uh, police are uh, looking at a link between uh, the, the explosion in New York City, uh, a second device that was found in New York City, and then uh, the explosion uh, outside of a charity run uh, in New Jersey before the uh, charity run actually took place. They're exploring the link between those two. According to uh, some reports, you had uh, a, a phone call placed uh, to 911 in New York that said, uh, there will be more. You had uh, some Arabic writing uh, found in the second device. So uh, it's an ongoing story. It's a developing story, but it obviously made a lot of news Saturday night. Uh, Donald Trump, uh, once uh, he was he was uh, at an event, uh, and uh, he said that um, at, a, uh, at an event in Colorado Springs, reading from Fox News, just before I got off the plane, a bomb went off in New York. Nobody knows what's going on. Trump, the Republican presidential nominee, said during a rally in Colorado Springs. Well, uh, that made a lot of journalists upset because the police had not officially called it a bomb, even though if you were to scour social media and see what different people had to say, Everyone else was calling it a bomb. Everyone else was calling it an IED. They were uh, saying that this was an explosion, that this was not a, a you know a gas-related event, uh, that this was an intentional act. Donald Trump gets off his plane. He's at a rally. Says, yeah, he's been uh, informed of what's going on. And by the way, let's remember this, that many times uh, the government, whether they be the police, feds, whatever, they will know if it's a bomb uh, before the news media talks about that. Okay, so it's very possible that Donald Trump was given this information before the news media was. It's very possible that that happened. Well, uh, so Donald Trump does that, and you have uh, some folks who, uh, who who are out journalists who are slamming Donald Trump for saying it was a bomb. Uh, Katie Turr, an NBC reporter covering the Trump campaign, tweeted off, Reported explosion in New York City at 8.30. At 9.10, Trump tells Colorado crowd a bomb went off, uh, that he was briefed on his plane. Well, who briefed him? So they were very upset about it. Uh, now, here's the deal. Hillary Clinton uh, gave a uh, spiel as well on this, and she said that, uh, that she had been briefed about the bombings in New York, New Jersey, and the attacks in Minnesota. Wonder if all three are connected. I guess we'll see uh, later on at some point. But uh, that she had told her press play, yeah, she was briefed about the bombings in New York, New Jersey, and the attacks in Minnesota. However, you're going to love this. The uh, the the uh, AP, the wire services, they reported the the uh, Clinton's uh, uh, re remarks as more cautious than what Donald Trump's were. Uh, listen, folks, you're going to see a lot of this. We all know about the bias, uh, the anti-Republican, anti-Trump bias that's out there from the media. Uh, you're going to see a lot more of this as we move towards the first debate, as we move closer to Election Day, as Trump has expanded the electoral map for himself, as he has done well in the polls. The media now freaking out that a Trump presidency could happen, uh, so they're taking any shot they can at Donald Trump. They did so last week with the whole birther issue, which nobody outside of the media really gives a damn about. Uh, and now they're going after Trump because he called the bombings a bombing when the police had not officially labeled it that yet. Hmm. Guess what? Everybody else was. Uh, so you're going to see a lot of faux outrage from the media. They're going to try to hammer Trump on this. Uh, but let's be honest, Trump was right uh, on this when he called it a bombing. It was. Tune in to the Chad HD Show weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time. It just shows more bias in the media. you got to be careful with what you read and what what, what do you hear in the media. you got to be careful with it, folks. Do a little bit of your own research. Go through. Find different sources when you see any of this stuff, uh, especially as we get closer to the election. Follow me on Twitter, Chad HD Radio. Have a great day. We'll talk to you on the radio from 830 to 11.